never stops playing with his toys, just the toys themselves change. As a boy, I dreamt of conquering imaginary realms with plastic swords and cardboard castles. Now, years later, these polished spines, etched with dreams, hold more than story. They hold the echoes of adventures yet to be lived, the dance of imagination. It was 2021, the year that redefined the meaning of home. Van life, living in a van, how amazing travel in a van was a topic at the time. My name is Bob Wells, and I live in a van. So this is it. This is the van, guys. This is officially mine. This is insane. I mean, I'm not even living out of it. I'm Trent Arant, and I'm 28 years old, and I live full-time out of a converted cargo van. While the world seemed to shrink, a sea to travel with the freedom bloom wasn't me. Fueled by countless YouTube videos and successful real and real estate, the dream of van life become step closer. But first, let's go to the beginning of my story. The decision was made. I would not buy by someone else build it. I would build myself. The van has to be with decent gas mileage, has to be tall enough to walk, has to be less than 22 foot long. I was stumbled between buying old or new van at the end. I decide to buy a new van and build on a budget. The answer came unexpectedly. A spark ignited by a phone call. Hi, Oleg. Remember the review I was talking about? We actually just bought it. Do you want to come check it out? See you. It's Andre and Vlada. Their voices crackling with excitement announce on when purchase the ticket to roam the world. My van needs to be on a budget under $15,000. Suitable to live in a van for a week. As to have kitchen with power. Comfortable bed for two. Of course, storage for food, clothes, and shoes. Has to have heater to provide cozy temperature. Has to have ventilation, maybe max fan. And lastly, a toilet. Plumbing, carpentry, electrical work, each skill mastered with grit and determination. Days turn into weeks, filled by the rhythmic claim of hammers. I wasn't 100% know what I'm doing, but I know what I want to achieve. And step by step, I was closer to my final craft. Every bolt tightened, every inch optimized, whisper the promise of adventure.
Hi guys, welcome again. I will start from the back of this van. I built a really simple design. You remember I have budget only $15,000 to fit everything and I decided to go with the simplest way to build it to build two benches, one on this side, another one on this side and those two benches can be easily converted to queen size bed in this backside family room can easily fit six people we do have lagoon table in the back when we have rainy days we definitely can do that and about this queen size bed which I can set up in 60 seconds and I will show you in a minute we have four shelves I built myself I built this one on a budget and I have to be very creative because I have very limited money I can spend I built those shelves from uh, Baltic Birch and I purchased those tupper cabinets from IKEA they're really shiny and glassy and really nice looking and I put them on a guest straw you guys can see right here they hold really nicely and those magnets avoid them from shaking or rattling when we travel in, in a van. So one closet I have for myself, this closet I have for my wife. It's fits and up close for hiking for three days, four days. And also we have two shelves on the front when we can use for some storage, some food, some water, and some extra stuff for our dog. I will show you what we do before we go to sleep. You guys can see those cushions can be removed very easily. Right there. This is my own design with help of IKEA. I purchased bedroom section from IKEA. I cut it each size to the length of my benches. I put two locking mechanism on the front and the back, and I use this as support for my queen size bed. Voila! Bed is ready. Basically, this bed is now set up. And all the setup, including sewing and mattresses, cost me approximately $600. On this side of our van, we have control panel. And this is control for our heater, which I install under passenger seat. This is our controller for our power. We have AC power and DC power in this van. We have 350 watt solar panels on the roof and we have 350 amp hours lithium batteries in this van i built moonlight in this van to have some moon sometimes uh, which is controlled with remote controller like this you guys can see we can turn on uh, we can change different colors you can put it green blue whatever colors you like but i put pinkish color for inabella you can turn main lights from here from this control and now we have those lights set up, which light up whole van at night very nicely. Hello everyone and welcome to our little home on the wheels. I will show and tell you about its middle part, which is my favorite. My favorite part of our van is TV. It might sound strange, but in regular life we work a lot, so we don't have a lot of time to watch our shows at night. But when we travel, we explore during the day, hike a lot, and at night we can brew our favorite cup of the tea and watch interesting show on YouTube or Netflix. And it's super convenient because we can have our TV positioned anywhere we want, depends if we're in dining room or in bed watching it. And when we drive in, we just fix it in place so it's safe during the travel. Another thing I like now when is refrigerator. It's located on bottom drawer and I can adjust temperature to fridge or freezer. It's pretty small but have just enough space for food we have to have during our travel. And uh, normally when we go for two to three days trips, I cook at home and put everything in containers and then store it in this fridge. It will save me a lot of time during the travel not to cook. And then I just microwave it 
and then in two to three minutes our meals are ready. It saves me a lot of time. <laughs> Another useful thing we have in our van is hidden outlets. We can use it for cooking or to use computers while we travel. If I need to cook, if we travel for more than two or three days, I use my foldable table. I have my induction cookware. And I have um, this drawer, various sizes of pots and pans. Which will allow me to prepare any meal I want. We have hidden outlets from both sides of my tiny kitchen. It allows me to cook main meal on one side and uh, here I can prepare boiling water. On my 1000 watt electric kettle. My tea will be probably ready in three to four minutes and I can have my favorite cup of tea or coffee. Another thing I like is my wonderful mirror. It has uh, multiple light settings that set the mood for the day. And I can wash my face in the morning and get ready for the day. And this is our living room or dining room area. You can call it either way, but this is the place where we uh, hang out with friends or spend time at night. We have little table that is on swivel arm. We can position it anywhere we want. For example, like this. And this area is comfortable for four people. Two people could sit on a bench and one person on captain chair and fourth person in cooler that could serve as a stool. I also like this area a lot because we can um, drive through different places, select the most scenic view, stop, prepare a quick meal, sit here, open the door, eat and enjoy fantastic view. At night or when we're ready to go to sleep or when we need privacy, we use our window screens and it's super easy. We just open it. It takes about 15 seconds. It attaches on magnets. These window screens are super useful and super convenient because it takes us about one to two minutes to cover each window in the van and it has provide instant privacy and in summer it also protects our van from heat from the sun. We have our co-pilot with us. He shares all our experiences in all our trips. Usually here he sits <laughs> while we travel and then he has special place at night under our bed. <laughs> Good boy. And below those bench, we have toilet. You can keep up to eight pairs of shoes in this rack below this bench right here. This is five gallon toilet. It's really good. It's good for three days of use and have a power button for the water. Five gallons is plenty of usage of water and we can probably keep for three days before we have to change it. And over here, under this chair, I built a heater. Lastly, this is front part of the van and I built over here swivel seats which can be converted for another person's seat. I call this captain seat because this is my favorite place to stay in a van. It's curtains from Amazon 
they come perfectly clean and I use those curtains with this rotten I pay for this about $15 together this is like cost me about $45 to build it can be converted at night we can cover very very easy very very fast and I put those magnets right here so that's those magnets can be connected right there and stay very nicely at night we can have some privacy we can enjoy we can hang out with our friends in our van and everything's covered from the front side of the van it literally feels like you're living in a house but little tiny house if you guys looking to purchase anything i use in this van i will provide it affiliated link below in from amazon link in descriptions and if you guys will purchase anything i use in this van to build your van from my links you will support my channel and this appreciated a lot in abella was no longer just a when she was a testament to freedom tiny cherish heaven on wheels with Annabella's engine humming the map on its road, Yellowstone. Glacier. arches north cascades rice canyon each park is the epic poem of discovery the grandeur of the landscapes was a reflection of my own heart this road seems endless, like it would never stop. I know, other than lifers feel this way too. I'm on this road because I'm searching for quiet peace, a place without people or cars. Meet me down by the coastline Cause this way feels like a lifetime I was turned to days when you're gone I just want to be surrounded by nature with birds singing in the wind, whispering through the trees. No more faces, no more engine noise. Just raw nature to hold me. Just to chase the blues, can wait another day. This road feels like it leads to that escape, and I'm so ready to find it. Talk for hours till we're sleeping Months turn to years when you're gone No flowers in the fields till you're home I'm looking for quiet moments share with my wife Another day to your back in my arms again I hope you'll be coming home soon just the first rays in dawn painting the sky as we sipped coffee brewed on a tiny stove. This is about connection with nature, the feeling of the earth beneath our feet as we explore it hidden trails. We weren't just passengers, we were participants in a grand symphony of nature, each rustle of leaves, adding a note to our unfolding story. And this is our little house, 
we call her Inabella. Bella from Italian means beautiful. As Miles morphed in the memories and realized this journey was more than an escape, I discovered the strings I never knew I'm possessed, ability to overcome challenges and adapt to an unexpected. I discovered deeper connection to myself, a sense of purpose woven into the fabric of every sunrise and sunset. And most importantly, I discovered the depth and resilience of love. The love grew stronger with every shared adventure, every obstacle conquered together. Annabella, not just a van, she testament to the power of dreams, an unwavering spirit of exploration. As one chapter closes, another one unfolds. The world stretches before us, an endless canvas waiting to be painted with the vibrant use of our experiences. Our adventure with Annabella, fueled by love and open roads, has just begun. If you find a freedom, journey continues. And we invite you to join us to listen to the whispers of the wind and embark on your own adventure. Subscribe to Cinematic Adventures, The Road Awaits, and Magic of Discovery in next chapter. Thank you.